Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Trading Tutor channel. In this video, we'll be looking at the Williams percent range definition and uses. So we'll look at some of the theory of this indicator where we'll be seeing how it's used, how you can calculate it, it's some of its positives and its limitations. And then we will apply this on the direct chart itself. So we'll be using the Ant web platform in the browser and we'll apply the Williams percent range directly on the chart to understand it better so we can see how it is actually used in live trading market. So first what is the Williams percent range? So Williams percent R also known as the Williams percent range is a type of momentum indicator that moves between 0 and 100 and measures the overbought and oversold levels. So this can be used to find the entry market. It is very similar to the stochastic oscillator and is used in the same way. And typically it is used over the specific period of 14 days and so on. So it compares a stock's closing price to the high low range over a specific period. So here we have a sample. This is the example we have. So here we have the example candlestick chart and below it we have the Williams percent our indicator. Now let's look at some of the key points we need to remember with this indicator. So Williams percent R moves between 0 and 100. A reading above 20 is overbought and a reading below minus 90 is oversold. So it's in negative. So 0 minus 20 is overbought and minus 80 is oversold. An overbought or oversold reading doesn't mean the price will reverse. Overbought simply means that the price is near the high of its recent range and oversold means the price is in the lower end of its recent range. It can be used to generate trade signals when the price and the indicator move out of overbought or oversold territory. So here's the formula. So here we have Williams percent R given by highest high minus the closing price divided by the highest high minus the lowest low. So the highest high is the highest price in the look back period, which is typically 14 days. The close is the most recent closing price. The lowest low is the lowest price in the look back period, which is again 14 days. So let's see how you can calculate it. You have to record the high and the low for each period over the 14 periods. On the 14 period, note the current price, the highest price and the lowest. It's now possible to fill in all the formula variables for this calculation equation. On the 15th period, note the current price, highest and the lowest price, but only for the last 14 periods, not the last 15. So you can apply it into this equation and you will get the percent R value, Williams percent R. As each period computes the new Williams percent R only using the last 14 periods of data. So let's apply it in the chart and see. So here we have the ES Bank candlestick chart available here. We have the one hour candlestick chart. And in order to apply the indicator, you can just go to the studies section here. And out of the many indicator given, we select the Williams percent R. And in the settings, we can adjust the number of periods if we wish to. So let's leave it at the typical 14, the overbought signal being at minus 20 and oversold at minus 80. So it's once it's done, as you can see, the chart is showing the overbought and oversold signals by itself. So here we have currently the Yes Bank is at oversold range overbought so this it's above the minus 20 so it is currently overbought range so what does the Williams percent R tell you so this indicator is telling a trader when the current price is relative to the highest high over the last 14 periods or whichever number of periods we use when the indicator is between minus 20 and 0 the price is overbought or near the high of its pre recent price range. When the indicator is between minus 80 and minus 100, the price is oversold or far from its recent range. 
During an uptrend, traders can watch for the indicator to move below minus 80 when the price starts moving up. When the indicator moves back above minus 80, it could signal that the uptrend is starting to begin again. So as we can see here, it was in the minus 80 range as within these 14 periods here and it started changing slowly and we can see how it has mirrored the candlestick pattern. So the same concept is used to find short trades in a downtrend. When the indicator is above 20, minus 20, watch for the price to start falling along with the Williams percent R moving back below minus 20 to signal a potential continuation of the downtrend. Traders can also watch for momentum failures. You can look at this using other indicators also. So during a strong uptrend, the price will often reach minus 20 or above. If the indicator falls then and then can't get back above minus 20 before falling again, that signals that the upward price momentum is in trouble and a bigger price decline could follow. The same concept can be applied to the downtrend. Readings of minus 80 or lower are often reached. When the indicator can no longer reach those levels before moving higher, it could indicate the price is going to head higher. So let's look here. So as we can see here, the in this specific period, the stock was specifically in a downward trend. It kept going down and hasn't climbed back up again. So here is one oversold re region. So let's look at also some of the limitations of using the Williams percent R. So overbought and oversold signals or readings on the indicator don't mean a reversal will occur. Overbought readings actually confirm an uptrend since a strong uptrend should regularly see prices that are pushing to or past the previous highs. The indicator can also be too responsive, meaning it gives many false signals. So let's point out some certain false signals. So as we can see here specifically, this is not a particularly big high in this the period range as we can see but it has peaked here so this is like one small false uh, false rating that's been given so we have to see the continuation and see how the trend is progressing before you um, act on it and also see how the chart is performing along with the indicator so the indicator is too responsive and it can give many false signals the indicator may be in oversold territory and starts to move higher, but the price fails to do so. This is because the indicator is only looking at the last 14 periods. As periods go by, the current price relative to the highs and the lows in the look back period changes, changes, even if the price hasn't really moved. So this is basically what has happened in this region. So since this uh, indicator is only looking at the past 14 periods, this is the current high. So it's taken as a slight peak here with the overbought. Let's look, apply it in another chart. So here we have the Maruti Suzuki's chart. See, as we can see, it has been in a downtrend and right now it's slowly climbing back up to its upper trend, upper trend momentum. Let's apply it to another. Here we have the HDFC bank. We'll be applying this onto the HDFC bank's candlestick chart to understand how it reacts. To see whether the stock price of HDFC bank is currently at overbought or oversold levels. So since in Williams percent R indicator was the last indicator we used, it's automatically applied on the chart by itself. So as we can see, it has been a little volatile in the indicator itself, but right now it's still in unstable state. 
and in the past 14 periods there haven't been very high highs or lowest lows highest high so that is the Williams percentile we'll be giving the link for this specific article so you can look at it yourself be sure to use and webs platform for charting or seeing how this applies directly in the candlestick chart and creating an account with Alice Blue will be very helpful for this process. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to start trading in the stock market, you can create your DMAT account with Alice Blue. Just click the link in the description and fill out your details.